is an injected sheep kidney and everything but the uh, blood supply and the space, the yellow here, has been uh, dissolved away. So just as a little review, we've got the large blue structure on the outside of the kidney is the renal vein and there's a large red renal artery. You can see the segmental arteries moving across the pelvis, that's the yellow. And the main thing I want you to see from this is See all those tiny little interlobular um, artery and veins? It looks just like a, a little bunch of hair or something on there. There are so many of them within the cortex. And this little uh, injected sheep kidney really shows that off. So all of those are interlobular artery and veins found in the cortex. On this model, we um, are able to see the kidney, kidney, we're seeing the inferior vena cava and the abdominal aorta. The first blood, blood supply to the artery, I mean, blood supply to the um, kidney is from the renal artery coming from the abdominal aorta. Um, and then of course we see on this model the adrenal gland and we see the renal vein draining the blood to the inferior vena cava. Here we see the ureter. These yellow tubes are the ureter, and this represents the ureteropelvic juncture. If we follow the ureter down, we will see that both of them come and join to the bladder, and that's what this is representing right here. Quick review of the structures of the kidney on this particular model, which represents the same things, just slightly differently. Here is the cortex. All of this is the cortex. Here you see the medulla, renal pyramid, renal pyramid, renal pyramid, and on, so on around. Here's a renal column, probably the best one represented on this model. Here's another one, renal column, and there's a little bit of a renal column here. Um, minor calyx, here the space is shown obviously, minor calyx, minor calyx, major calyx into the renal pelvis, ureteropelvic juncture down to the um, ureter. Blood supply, uh, renal artery, segmental artery, segmental artery, um, interlobar arteries, arcuate arteries, and interlobular arteries. Interlobar, arcuate, interlobular arteries up in the cortical region. On this particular model, it shows that in the cortex, we, hi we have many Bauman's capsules. And all of these Bauman's capsules are supplied with blood by afferent arterioles. But that is such a tiny representation. We're going to move over to this model now. On this model, we're seeing a renal pyramid right here. This is, so therefore this region would be the medulla. This region up here would be the cortex. In the cortex, we find Bauman's capsule here, the nephron tubule, all represented here, and a collecting duct represented here. Um, the uh, renal pyramid has many collecting ducts in it. On this one, we can see the arcuate artery, the interlobular artery, giving rise to the afferent arteriole, afferent arteriole, let's follow this one, afferent arteriole into the glomerulus. The blood then exits via the efferent arteriole. You can't see where this efferent comes, but over on these, where well, you can see the glomerulus, you can see quite nicely. Here's the afferent, which is the largest of these little arterioles going into what you cannot see inside Bauman's capsule. You see uh, inside here would be the glomerulus. The blood exiting it, um, is the efferent arteriole, smaller diameter than the afferent. And then the blood goes into the paratubular capillary. This paratubular capillary would wrap all around these uh, tubules. And that's all we can see on that one. Now, uh, now let's move over to this last model. And on this one, we see the 
we see the uh, part of uh, Bauman's capsule right here. And inside of Bauman's capsule, we find the glomerulus. The glomerulus is the tiny blood vessel capillary. Here we find the afferent arterial entering, uh, allowing blood to enter the glomerulus, and here's the efferent. I can tell which is which because one is bigger than the other. Here's the afferent, here's the efferent. This particular part of the glomerulus is covered with an endothelial layer, part of Bauman's capsule.